Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. In this video, we'll see about routes in Code Igniter. As many of our viewers requested about uh, the video on routes, so I thought of making it. Firstly, I'd like to apologize all of from all of my viewers uh, that after such a long period, I am going to make uh, the video. So I hope that's not repeated in future. So let's continue with the video on routes. Let's learn about how routing of uh, URL occurs in Codeigniter. It's very simple. Just un try to understand what I am trying to explain. So for that, I'll just create a controller uh, in my project so it's better understood. So let's create a controller first. me do one thing uh, let's call it we already have a test controller here my controller okay so uh, let's call it product dot PHP okay now what I'll do is I'll create a controller for it so our controller code would look like this okay so first of all let me load a view and let's call it uh, product underscore view just I'll load the view without any data in it I'll just save it in my views folder inside applications with the same name which I have supplied in our controller so basically here if I just type something let's call it product view and here is our product let's go and try to call this URL uh, product it's inside my CI underscore tutorials underscore this so basically this is my base URL and this is my controller name and in front of that I can pass the method name as well so this is the basic uh, URL routing now for example if I have given a product name to this and I try to run it so it's giving me an error because I have not supplied an argument so how to get rid of this if there is no argument so you can just simply uh, initiate it to a blank value so this won't happen if no argument is supplied you can uh, do that validation anywhere now for example I have to supply something in it so I could do, do that also now let's uh, do one thing I'll just echo whatever you uh, whatever is applied so here I'll just say product underscore name so basically whatever uh, parameter I'm passing here is fetched in our view now we'll see about routing now what if I want to get rid of index now if I remove this index and I try to uh, execute the URL so it's going to show me 404 because uh, our current URL says that this is our base URL this is our controller name and inside that controller name it is searching Codeigniter is searching for the method VDDF is whatever it is so this is not the case in our case the method name is index and this is just a parameter 
so how to make a custom route to solve our issue because this index doesn't look nice in our URL okay so I'll, what I'll do is I'll just copy this and inside our config folder inside our application we have config folder in that we have routes.php what we have to do is just go in that file and here I have already created a route for some other controller so leave it just consider that there is nothing now for example this is our URL this is our parameter this could be anything so what I want is whenever anyone passes a URL uh, which would be like product slash anything I have to load something uh, which is like product in that product controller I have an index method and in that I will search for that parameter so what route we want to create will specify this here so I have product and after that if anyone supplies anything this could be anything so in CI anything is referred to this so what I have to do is I have to just pass this to 1 so basically uh, this is the way to do that now if I go there and try to run the same URL which was giving me 404 some times ago now it gives me the perfect result so let's try something else also I uh, suppose I don't want product also to appear in my URL I just want uh, my base URL slash uh, whatever parameter it, it is so in that case what I will do is routes in that for example if anyone supplies anything so what I have to do is I have to call the same thing this way so if I just go there and hit so I hope the idea is clear to you uh, so basically in routes whatever route you want to create you just specify it here like for example if in your URL you want the controller name slash anything to be redirected to the controller name slash method name slash the parameters so you could just do it like that or if you want to show uh, the parameter directly you can specify it like this now in other case for example if somebody passes a number if someone wants to pass a number so the number would be redirected to suppose I am going to pass it to the same URL now if I specify 1 so again it will be passed to this ok so I hope now routes uh, will not trouble you anymore uh, if in case you have any queries please feel free to comment below also I'll request you to subscribe to my channel solution cone as I'm going to upload videos regularly from now onwards so that you all guys are updated to what's happening around thank you for watching guys please like subscribe and share the video uh, with your colleagues thank you